So I've been using Linux for a few couple of weeks now and enjoyed it. Really like the DD program on it. And I found out you can get it for Windows, so downloaded it. You get it from Chrysacomb.net. So it comes in this file, it's the 05 version. So when you open it, just copy them all and put them in your videos or put them wherever you want really. In fact, I've got some in my videos, so I'm all going to pictures. No, I'll stick with one side. You need it in a file where you can locate it. Then to open it up, you need to go to command prompt. And just open. Don't run as an administrator. Just open it, and then you'll be in your directories. So you go CD videos. And it's going to jump to your video directory, and then you can go DD dash dash list and see if it's working. It is. So it's listed all the volumes. So the one I want to copy to image is. This one, I think, D. You just got to remember that number, what it's mounted on. That They're all the same, but they've just got the different D. So you can just go in here, I suppose, and check. And D drive. So, D, D. Put the block size in. One million, make it fast. Now you're going to put the input file equals equals dash dash I forget what it was now. I think it was H, wasn't it? No, D. That one. So you're just copying that. Oh, so we the addresses for these. So you have to go to your local disk, go to users, the one you want to go to, user one is me. Oh no, not OneDrive. Pictures. And just copy that address down. So, C dot dot backslash users backslash user one backslash pictures and then create your file. So, I was going to put test image. USB dot DD. So we've got the where with the source, the target, and we'll just put dash dash progress, and that gives us a progress report so you can see what's happening. And then dash dash size is another important one, it checks the size of the source and stops, otherwise, it will just keep going. I'm told. So that should be it. It should create an image. So I've done something wrong. Uh, 
Ah, uh, okay. I see what I've done wrong. So, users. Yeah, it's going that. That's one gigabyte done already. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, that's well done. So as you can see, fifteen point five gigabytes. All them records in, all the records out match. So There's the test image. So I'll have a go at copying from one disk to another. I've done this a few times, but I haven't managed to get one boot in yet. Probably more fault, but. So we're going to go from D to E. As you know, it's 14.4 gigabytes, and that's 300 gigabytes. So we go back into CMD. I want to start a new one because it's full. So DD block size equals one million, and then the input file equals, and I completely forgot what they were again. So D to E dash dash dot D no hold on dash dash dot dash I forgot what it is now so it is dash dash dot dash D double dot output file equals backslash backslash dot backslash E E D D block size input file output file and then dash dash progress and dash dash size and that should be it so press enter it should copy it yeah go it So that's copying from the USB now to the hard drive. So I'll come back in a minute. Well, that's done. As you can see, all records in and out match. 15 gigabyte. Still showing us 300 on there though. Not accessible either. Well, so I didn't think it was working, and then I unplugged the hard oh, drive, plugged it back in. When it booted up, it came with disk E and showed you the files that it. it moved across. Let's have a look at that in this PC. So yeah, that 300 gigabytes is now showing as the 14.4 uh, gigabyte USB flash drive. Why it does that, I don't know. You'd think you'd have an unallocated space, but it wouldn't show you unallocated space there anyway. You might do you do in here. No, it's actually showing you yeah, just the normal reading, but that's FAT32. So, like I said, I, can't, I struggled to get this boot in. I, I 
done a few windows discs trying to copy it from one to the other and this happens you got one size there one size here and between the two of it you don't want to boot you won't recognize the part of the boot partition so anyway i'm still working on it it's probably my fault but that did work then so i'm happy with that as you can see you can now click on that and you can get access to the file so it's copied that usb over to the hard drive 